what's up nail fiends welcome back to another video so before i start this i just firstly want to apologize that i haven't been able to upload my halloween content like i usually do but i got a little bit unwell over the weekend i lost my voice all of that stuff so yeah i'm just recuperating now so i thought i would share with you my favorites and the first one is this spider design and now moving on with the actual design guys, I'm first going in and I'm applying these really really long tips that I got from Nail Tech Supplies. I will leave all of the links to the products I'm using linked down below, but these are their display tips, but I thought they would make some rocking really long tips. So I'm basically just going ahead and applying these to all of the nails and check out how long these bad boys actually are. And then I went ahead and used my tip cutters and just took off a little bit of the length and then later on in the video I decided to take a little bit more off but I will explain further more about that. So the acrylic system I'm using for this look today is by NTS and that's their Dreamcatcher acrylic system. So I will go further into detail about all of the products as I'm going along. So the first one I'm using is their clear one. This one is called Clear as Day and I'm basically just using this as a base for my nails. So I start at the cuticle area with a thin bead of acrylic and just basically create like a little um, smooth surface for me to start working on. Um, you don't necessarily have to go all the way down the tip but I like to do that simply because it not only helps me with my filing it just it gives me a little bit more stability as I'm working with the nail so at that point I went ahead with my design but I actually didn't like what I did in the first place so what I decided to do was once again take the nails down just a little bit and then I'm going to cover where I put that first teal layer I'm actually using um, I believe it's called pale skin and it's from glam and glitz and it's just basically a really nice creamy sort of color and I'm applying this for my base on the middle finger and with glam and glitz i do find it a little bit easier working wet so you will notice that my beads are a lot wetter than i usually work and this is because i like to just prefer to paint it on basically i'm just using this like i said to cover up that blue Then we move on to the pinky nail guys and this one is going to be an ombre nail. So I first start by using Nail Nails' Pure Black. I put this to the tip of the nail and then I'm going to go ahead and feather that acrylic up slightly. Um, I do with black, black can be quite an unforgiving acrylic colour to work with. So I do tend to like to work with that one slightly wetter just so I could get a little bit more pliability out of it. And yeah, like you see here, I go in with another tiny little bit of black just in some areas where I felt like it needed a little bit more. Then, like I said previously, guys, to ombre that, I'm using NTS's um, Midnight Stars, and this one is a beautiful dark blue with a slightly lighter blue um, glitter pieces in it. It's gorgeous. So it's really easy to ombre the glittery one over the top of the black. I just found it worked really perfectly that way. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. And then when I was happy with the blend area, I go in with another bead for the cuticle. Then my next step is to go in with the cuticle bead and this is super easy. I just tap that in, um, then basically tap in the sides, drag the remainder down the middle of the nail and I really just want to make sure everything is nice and symmetrical around that cuticle area and it just makes filing so much easier. Thank you. 
then we next move on to the middle finger which is going to be a French tip nail so I'm first starting with my elongated nail blade I'm using warm beige by nail nails which is absolutely one of my favorites it is so gorgeous so I'm basically just using this first to form the bottom of the nail bed area get the shape that I want and then I will go ahead and add the middle layer which just helps with the apex area you go in again with that cuticle bead push that up as far into the cuticle as you can get it without touching the skin and then I'm just going to drag that back down and finish off with the last bead so since this one is obviously not being capped I do want to make sure I have the strength and the structure in my apex area obviously these are fake hands it doesn't matter if everything is completely perfect but you do want to remember when you're doing your French tip nails to always make sure you have your apex and the strength and structure when you are doing your nail bed area and it just means that if when it comes to your client um, doing a wear and tear it isn't going to snap off at that weakest point so onto the good stuff, I've chosen three glitters for this set. We have Icy Blue Stars from a, a Glitter. We also have Dragonfly Multi Mix from a, a Glitter. And then finally from Nail Artisan, I'm using their Chameleon Flakes in Blue. And starting with the pinky, I am first going in with those Chameleon Flakes from Nail Artisan. I am using my monomer here, it worked perfectly well for me. So I'm basically using wet beads of acrylic to apply these little flakies to the nail, dispersing them in the areas that I want. And then on top of those, as you could see, I'm going in with those icy blue stars. And on top of this um, ombre, they almost appear like a chameleon type shift to them. They are gorgeous. And then I'm basically just going to finish off um, by adding a little bit of that Dragonfly Multi Mix. I just find those three glitters went superbly well together and really did give that sort of spooky effect. Then once again with that clear as day, I'm going to go ahead and fully encapsulate this nail since the powders I'm using are not strength powders. But not only that, I do want to protect the glitter as I'm moving on with the rest of my look. So we move back on to the French tip nail and I'm going to begin with, at the bottom of that nail bed area with that black acrylic powder simply because when I go ahead and put my glitters and things like that all on top of it, it's going to have a really nice black line going around that whole nail bed area and I just think it looks great. So I started at that area, tucking that right up into the sides and feathering that down slightly. So next I'm going in with Midnight Stars, first I'm going to feather that back to the black and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag that down and as you can see as I get to the tip I'm just basically letting it feather away, um, it's going to be slightly sheeter at the tip but I'm not too bothered about that because I am going to go in with some glitters and stuff like that so it will be covered up anyway. Next I'm coming in with those gorgeous blue flakes again and that's the only glitter I'm actually using on this nail. I wanted that to be basically the centre point because they are guys super super beautiful over this acrylic colour. So first I went in and just added them to where I basically wanted them and spread them out and I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it was to manoeuvre these into place. The, that clear as day acrylic didn't get dry up too quick so it did give me plenty of time to fiddle about with that nail and get my little flakes where I wanted to put them. Then once again guys my next step is to go ahead and encapsulate this nail again just making sure my glitter and all of that good stuff stays in place doesn't get like all fluffed up and whatever as I'm going on with my design. Again you could totally leave this to the last step I just like to do it as I'm going along. So 
so guys now that i have the bulk of all of my acrylic on you will notice that i have also gone ahead and done the pointer finger basically what i did with that one was add a layer of nts acrylic in angel dust and then i put some of the blue flakes on it but i have zero clue what actually happened to the footage so you just saw me there sanitize the nails remove all of the dust and debris and i'm now going in to top coat and I'm actually using the Diamond Glaze top coat, which is also from NTS. I'm actually really liking it. It's a no white top coat and very, very, very shiny. It is really beautiful to work with. And you're also going to notice as well, guys, that I completely miss the middle finger. This one has already been buffed and matted out because I am going to be doing some nail art on that one. And I needed the matte surface as opposed to it being shiny. So again, just to save time, I already did that off camera as well. So moving on with the nail art guys and I'm going to be starting with the spider. So I'm using Indigo Nails' Mousse Gel in So Black and also my Rublov detail brush so I'm going to be starting with his body so this is basically like just a teardrop sort of shape so you want it to be pointed at one end and then rimmed off at the other and the great thing about this gel is you can build up the layers for a more 3d look if you wanted and you could also use your sugar and glitters to add a little bit more of a textured finish so next I was going on with his head is obviously going to be smaller than the body more rimmed and then it has his little fangs or something popping out at the end as well and then starting off from the side of his body I'm now going to go ahead and draw his legs so I decided to go ahead and basically keep them as like as I possibly could obviously a spider's legs are not going to be all in the same direction but I wanted to sort of keep them the same size the same shape coming from the same sort of areas just so they fit the nail a little bit easier but then what I decided to do as I was going along was sort of add one of the legs crossing over each other so you will sort of see that as I come closer to his head and that sort of area. Then my next step was to cure that completely for 60 seconds and then I went in with some of that dragonfly glitter in um, basically where his little butt is. I added some of that glitter there for a more three-dimensional look and I also added some of those tiny little green pieces for his eyes as well. I did go over them with a white and a red later on but you still saw the really cool little glow of those glitters underneath those eyes and I thought that added just a little bit extra and now for the rest of the nail I just went with adding some of the glitters that I used in the other ones it's not really a spider web I don't even know what it was or what I was going with I just wanted to add some of those glitters to that nail so I did so in a sort of like horizontal pattern I first went in with the flakes over the top of the flakes I added the dragonfly glitter which I must admit guys was the first time I've used and I'm absolutely freaking in love with it don't forget you could go ahead and use my code um which is linked down below for 10% off your order at a, a Glitter. I will leave all of those details below for you guys. Then once I was happy placing all of that glitter, I once again encapsulated that whole nail with Clear as Day.
So moving on with that pointer finger, I wanted to do something a little bit different, something that I haven't really done before. Um, so I'm going to be doing some 3D flowers. I used um, Nail Nails' Pure Black and I'm also using NTS Midnight Stars for that. So I've basically gone ahead and double dipped into those and I'm going to be using um, some monomer with a little bit of acetone and my CGP Precise brush. And I'm basically just going to be doing small little flowers going down this nail. And as you can see, I'm keeping them super, super flat. And that's because for the first time ever, I'm actually going to be encapsulating the whole nail, including the flowers. I've wanted to try this technique for ages um never really got around to it so i thought i would try it for this set and i was really pleased how they turned out guys i'm not gonna lie i actually really liked the sort of like glass appearance you got over the flowers they were gorgeous so basically back to the flowers you can see here that i have created four petals for each flower and i'm going to do three flowers right down the nail and i'll leave you guys to watch this flower in um full motion And I did go ahead and repeat that process for a third time on a third rose at the very bottom of the nail, leaning in towards the tip. And then once again guys, I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate that whole nail. This time I'm using slightly wetter beads just so they could get into all those little nooks and crannies of those flowers and that everything is completely sealed. So when I go in to do my filing and whatever else, nothing disturbs those little flowers. And then off camera, I just went ahead and filed, buffed and shaped those nails. And I'm now going to go ahead and just wipe away any of that excess dust and debris before I go in with a glossy top coat. And once again, the top coat that I'm using is the Diamond Glaze one, also from NTS. And then because it's me guys, you know I could never just leave it as it is. I did want to add a little bit of bling to these nails. I did keep it relatively simple. So for the ring finger, I just went ahead and added some Swarovski crystals that I got in the Hocus Pocus pack from Blue Street Crystals. And I also added a little cross as well. I got them in a set from AliExpress. And then you could see that I've also added a few green ones to that um, pointer finger as well well in between those little flowers and finally my loves this is what the set looks like once everything is finished and i really hope you guys enjoyed my first halloween set of 2019 and to finish off this video guys i just want to say that i am sorry that i haven't been uploading very recently for the halloween period but i just got so unwell with a sore neck and a sickness bug i completely lost my voice and all of that stuff so everything just went tits up basically but i will be back to regular updating um and uploading and all of that good stuff in the next few days because i am slowly starting to feel a little bit better now so guys i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did please give me a thumbs up i would totally appreciate it and if you're new to my channel and you haven't already don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell to be updated anytime i upload a new video and as always to my lovely returning subscribers thank you for joining me today and i'll see you in the next one bye